Virgos, hey, it is the Sun Sage back to do another October reading for you all. So thank you so much for tuning in. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, and those of you who are cross watchers who could be connected to a Virgo. All right. So Virgos, let's get into it. This is a love reading for you to see what's going on currently, what your mutual energies are between you and someone, and what's coming in romantically. All right. So these are general messages. They may not resonate for every Virgo. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you need a personal reading, take uh, check out the information in the um, description box because if readings are not resonating with you and the energy for you is not being picked up, you may need something more specific. Okay. So um, let's get into it. What's going on for Virgos in their love life currently? What's going on? Page of Pentacles. Okay. Um, Seven of Pentacles. Someone is sharing their gift with you. A gift with you. You're getting a gift. The world. Someone is giving you a gift that they've worked really hard for, worked really hard on. Um a uh, page of pentacles a message is coming through for you guys from someone um how much they how how hard they're working to give you the life that you deserved or how much they want to give you the life that you deserve with the world you guys may be seeing the growth of someone literally you could go from page of pentacles seven of pentacles the world or you guys could be the ones that have grown when it comes to romance and relationships right there's a relationship here that's teaching you how to share, how to be more, um, how to be more open, how to be, how to be more dedicated. There's someone here that you have, um, a, a good relationship with, I feel. What is this page of pentacles? Um, the 10 of cups. You're very satisfied with this person. Okay. It could be another earth sign. There's strong earth energy here, but you could be very satisfied with this person. Okay. 10 of cups. Um, you feel happy. It feels like um, a new sort of love or experience that you haven't had or that you haven't had in a long time. Yeah, there's a divine counterpart here satisfying you, okay? Making you feel very happy um, currently or this is what's coming in for you. But I do feel like this person, um, you are their partner. You are the person they want to take care of. That's very emperor energy, right? They want to give you the world. They want to give you what you deserve. So you're experiencing, you know, uh, you have a person who could show their like their love language is acts of service right they do things for you they show up for you they support your business they invest in you and it feels like you have somebody here that has made you grow because of the love that they give to you they're they're making you evolve seven of pentacles here um some of you uh, what's the seven of pentacles? Because some of you may have been with this person for a long time or you, um, yeah, the lovers. Yeah. This feels like a long relationship. <laughs> okay. It doesn't have to be seven years, but seven years feels specific for someone with these sevens here, um, or with this seven here, the six, um, is the lover's message. Uh, this person is somebody that has waited a long time to be with you. Okay, they've seen you through many different phases of your life. Strength here. They waited a long time to be with you. Okay, they were waiting for the opportunity. They took the opportunity and now it feels like they have you. They don't want to lose you. So they want to give you the world here. So with lovers and strength, this person wants to hold on to you. They want to hold on to this. And they feel like the world is what they're offering you. Um, What is the world here for Virgos? Someone's offering you the world. Um, the seven of pentacles again. Yeah. Sevens are significant here for you. Um, the hangman, another seven. So, um, I do feel like you're dealing with somebody who, while you do want to, you know, have this long-term relationship with this life with, um, there could be something that you have to do first. I was picking that up in a couple of your other readings or something that has to happen first or something. Some of you, um, I, I, I picked up Pisces last time too. Hangman is Pisces energy. Some of you have a Pisces you could have been dealing with, um, for some time that, that you may not be divorced from them yet. Right. That's the strongest energy. What's this hangman? But there is a delay, even if you're not connected to a Pisces or this isn't about another person. Um, this person has waited a really long time to be with you and they're willing to wait. 
any, however, like they, they don't care. They have to wait longer. Temperance, right? They don't care if they have to wait. They know that when this happens, it's going to happen at the right time. You guys are encouraging them to hang in there with you. Okay, I feel that you guys are promising them that you are going to be 100% dedicated to you. I mean, dedicated to them. They love what they're hearing from you. You love what you're seeing from them. So temperance, this is about two people who feel very balanced with, with each other. Two people who make each other... Um, elevate and and think at your highest um your highest self i i have been telling everyone this knight of swords has been at the bottom of the deck so there's meddling here there's somebody here interference somebody who may not want you to be with this person um there could be some doubts about you know they could be putting some doubts in your mind about this person but this is somebody who balances who balances you someone who feels like you've changed their life and i feel like you guys have this equal sort of relationship here all right so mutual feelings between virgo and this person what are the mutual feelings six of swords bringing each other peace again balance okay getting but you both may have come out of like rocky relationships to find peace with each other nine of pentacles um uh, Ace of Swords, there's no codependency in this relationship. Y'all are honest with each other in this relationship. There is peace and satisfaction here. So yeah, a lot of you have a match here. Somebody who physically uh, satisfies you, someone who is intellectually satisfying to you. You love your conversations. You love, um, they, they feel like they educate you or they feel like they put you on to things you may not have known. Um, but no codependency, Nine of Pentacles. Even as much as this person wants to do for you and how they feel for you, it's like they still want you to be yourself and give you your space. And I feel like that could be a new experience for some of you who may have in the past dealt with someone possessive, dealt with somebody who was easily jealous. You're dealing with somebody who feels very liberating and freeing and like they don't mind that you sometimes need to uh, work late. Um, they don't have a problem with the fact that sometimes you just want to go out with your friends. So you're dealing with somebody who lets you be. All right. Six of swords. And I feel like you let them be too, because these are mutual feelings. What is the six of swords? The four of swords. Peace. More peace, okay? You see those feathers, <laughs> all right? Um, you both are with each other because you have this calm, peaceful relationship together. You bring out the best in each other, I feel. You are specifically, Virgo, bringing out the best in this person, making them an emperor or bringing out the emperor in them. What is this for? So it's Aries energy there. Um, the Hierophant Taurus. Um, yeah, this is a, a peaceful connection. You guys are both very committed to each other. So there's loyalty here. Okay. I'm picking up on loyalty here. I'm picking up on honesty with each other here. Um, I feel like if you ask this person a question or if you ask them their opinion, they're going to keep it real with you. Right. And they feel like you do the same thing for them. So let's see this nine of pentacles for Virgos. Cause that can be your energy. Um, the Knave of Swords, uh, Page of Swords energy, um, a magician. You guys are in a very mature relationship. I do feel like you keep an eye on each other. Knave of Swords, um, magician. You, you do like the security of this relationship, but I feel like some of you may not have experienced a good relationship in a long time. Or ever. And so being with somebody like this, it feels a little odd. It could feel a little different. And you know, it's something, Knave of Swords, you just want to know more about, like, is this real? That sort of thing. But the magician is telling me that, again, you guys bring out the best in each other. Um, you are each other's balance. The chemistry here is crazy. Okay. The bond here is amazing. Um, what's this magician? You both are number one in each other's life. Okay, look at that one there. You you are both number one in each other's life. Um, the Ten of Pentacles confirmed. Okay, so their biggest responsibility is to you and you feel like you want to make them your biggest responsibility. Um, this is outside of kids. If you have kids, you know, your kids are your responsibility, your parents, however, you know, that plays out. But I feel like as far as lovers and romance go, this is the person that you're mainly focused on and you, you are the person that they are focused on. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here already, you know, lives with this person 
married to this person because we got the Hierophant here. This feels like a peaceful relationship or just a relationship that makes you feel really good. Like I'm, it's so light and flowy and airy. That's the energy I'm picking up. You guys don't get on each other's nerves that much. Um, Ace of Swords, you're able to speak your mind without worrying about whether your person's going to get offended. What is this Ace of Swords? This is the, uh, the Knight of Pentacles, your energy. Yes. You bring out the best in each other. You bring out the absolute best in this person and they bring out the absolute best in you. There's a lot of devotion and loyalty here, Virgos. The Ace of Pentacles confirmed. Lots of loyalty here. Okay. So both of you view each other as, you know, one of the best things that's ever happened to each other. The aces are like ones too. So you have the ace here and the ace here. Like I said, you are both each other's number one. No one else has your, your loyalty like this person and you don't have, um, and, and no one else has your person's loyalty like you do. So there's a strong connection here. It's mostly built on the fact that you guys may have known each other for a long time. You guys may have been through a lot together. Um, and you've seen this person in different situations and you're okay with how they respond. Um, you feel like you trust each other. Okay. You trust each other. All right. So what's coming in romantically for Virgos? Okay. I'll take it. Eight of Cups. What's coming in romantically for Virgos? What's coming in romantically for Virgos? The devil here. What's coming in romantically? What's coming in for Virgos? We have the nine of cups. Okay. Um, death at the bottom feels like an ending. It does feel like you finally are able to put behind like a tumultuous past or um, a relationship that was possessive with the devil here. Um, there's somebody that may try to cling on to you, Virgo, somebody that could be clinging right now, you know, um, trying to sort of remind you of what you guys had or someone trying to remind your person of what they had with this person. But it feels like you, you break free nine of cups. You, you go for what you want, right? Your wish fulfillment is to have this peace and this balance in your life. And you can't have that with somebody who may have been possessive or somebody who may have been, um, emotionally not, um, not considerate of you. So you have someone here that you're already already invested in and so someone else can can sort of go now <laughs> what's this eight of cups the nine of wands yeah you're blocking yourself off from anybody that's not this main person that you're dealing with ace of wands they still want you okay they still want you but there's a barrier here that you've put up with that nine of wands they want a new beginning with you all right but I feel like what's coming in for you romantically is you telling someone or telling people, I already have someone. So literally that Ace of Swords energy is some of you. And um, what's coming in is you will be saying, I'm in a relationship. I, I'm official with somebody, Ace of Wands. I have someone new, right? I don't need to sort of date around anymore. Or somebody saying, you know, I'm official with Virgo. I'm, I'm done sort of like going back and forth. I've made it official here. So somebody is going to be blocked from the energy that you have because you are investing elsewhere this the devil okay capricorn energy showing up why is this here why is this cap this devil here the king of pentacles earth energy you could have a capricorn a taurus here or another virgo six of cups um you're with the person that you want to be with. For some of you, I feel like, you know, you're letting somebody down. You're like, I could let you down gently, eight of cups, just walk away from the situation or things could get ugly, the devil, right? But I do have someone that I'm investing in here, okay? I do feel like somebody doesn't like it, but oh well, six, of, I mean, king of pentacles, six of cups, you're dealing with a soulmate. So you're, you're investing where you see your biggest return is going to be, where you can have a future with somebody. That's where you're choosing to put your, that's the basket you're choosing to put your eggs in with, with, with this soulmate here, possibly another earth sign. All right. Yeah. Nine of cups. You, you do, I feel successfully break free devil here. You do successfully break free from someone. Um, the fool. Yep. Confirmed. You successfully break free from a negative energy or someone that was holding you back or guilt or shame, right? For those of you who were 
um, afraid to walk away from someone who you're not meant to be with. The Ten of Swords tells me that there is an ending that happens. Yes, there will be pain and hurt from that ending. There will be um, feelings of guilt. You know, could I have done something different to, to salvage this person's feelings? But ultimately, you, again, are about your own satisfaction. Nine of Pentacles, too. Um, you are about protecting your own energy and protecting this relationship that feels like it's very special to you. You don't need anything coming in between that. And I feel like you get rid of any obstacles coming in that could be... Um, uh, trying to separate you from the person you you have this new beginning with with the fool all right virgos that is what i have for you thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and i will talk to you soon